What's up, Squirrelgers? It's Nerp here. Look, you can see me. Hello. Um, I'm using my uh, Twitch stream layout over uh, overlay thing because I needed to make the Squirrels game a little smaller on your screen so it can fit something else on the screen, which is this. So, um, first, yeah, I, the only reason you can see me on face cam is because if I'm going to use this uh, overlay, then why not just have a face cam? And uh, yeah, so I guess I should just plug my Twitch channel here. It's twitch.tv slash nerp the ninja. I don't stream very often, so don't feel uh, don't feel the need to follow. I barely stream at all, actually. <laughs> but yeah, so what I'm gonna do in today's video is try to do something that might give me a little bit of an advantage, and that is use a project that Franconi made on Scratch, which will calculate the the draw chances of scrolls in my deck. So this is how it works. You just type in your hold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so as you know, I've haven't been doing well in rank lately and I'm hoping this might uh, help me a little bit. So I've been playing draw depending decks like this one where you have to remember how many bombards you have left, how many bounce bristles you have left, stormers, oculus burns. So what you do is you just type in all the scrolls in your deck. Link to this uh, thing by Franconi will be in the description. He said he's actually working on a newer version, which uh, will probably work better than this, but this is this is, is solid as it is right now. I'm not sure if you could save decks on it, so um, it does take some time to use, but if you're just using one deck over and over again, like and you don't switch around a lot, like me, this will help you a lot. So just type in all the scrolls in your deck. You don't have to do it like exactly their whole name because it's just for you to see. So I know dust means dust runner. I know pot means potion. So I'm just gonna quickly do this. I know some of them are th have three in the deck. Some of them are two in the deck. Um, some of them are even one in the deck, including uh, for stone enigma. But you'll see how that all works out. So what this will do, it'll keep track of all the scrolls in my deck. It might take some time for me to always remember to uh, check them off. And you'll see how this will calculate the chance I'm going to draw every scroll in my deck and uh, it'll let me know what I have left to draw. So you can you can just take whatever deck you have, type it in here, and then you click, you write done and enter afterwards and you can see two pages here of all these scrolls. So now we'll, we're going to click, right now it says three. For every scroll, that means there's three of each scroll in the deck. We have 57 scrolls, so we have to lower that to 50. So we only have two dust runners. We only have two potion of resistances. Um, the next thing we have two of is ether pump. Go to the next page for that. It is pretty awesome how uh, Franconi made this. Stone Enigma. Tempest Reaver is only two of them. And Thunder Surge is only two. Now we have 50. So yeah, all those decimals just went out because for some reason now it's like an even number and it divides perfectly uh, that these can be whole numbers. But what what the numbers on the side here is just the basically the uh, chance you're going to draw it. So this is like there's a only a two percent chance I would draw a stone enigma after, out of the fifty scrolls. There's only one of them. One over fifty equals two percent. I'm sure you guys understand that. And then this just leave this scroll twenty alone. I mean, it, you, you need the you need like it's just there. Just keep it keep it at zero. So you just, you, as you can see, if you click it again, it uh, goes back to three. So what this does is after you um, draw your entire deck, you can just reset them by bringing them back to three or whatever it was. So what I'm going to do is as I draw each of the scrolls, I'll just check it off. Like I'll click it once and then I have two, two forges left then I have one forge left. And what that will do is it'll tell me what scrolls I have yet to draw. So I'll know, do I have a bombard left? Yes, I do. And... Um, I'll also also know like the exact chance I'm gonna draw what I need to draw, and we're gonna see how it works. So let's head right into this. Over to energy again. Link to the deck I'm using and this uh, project's current Franconi made will be in the description. And I'll be back when I find a match. Okay, guys, found a match. Let's see who it's against. Yersinia Pestis. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Good luck and have fun. 
So he goes first, unfortunately. Our starting hand. Oh, we have to. I'm actually not gonna. I show I mulligan. I think I'm gonna mulligan because I don't have a two drop. If I topped up like if I topped like a two drop right here, then I then I won't mulligan. Nope. So I'm gonna mulligan. And this hand is better. So now let's quickly check off the scrolls. So we've drawn one smuggler. So now there's only two left in the deck. And then we've drawn one spark. Yeah, you see this might get a little tedious, tedious and you might forget. Um, a bombard, a forge. Let's go to the next page to check off the two bounce dispersals. So we've only had one. We're only going to have one more bounce dispersal in the deck. And we're going to want to get to smuggler. So we're going to get rid of one of the bounce dispersals. It's going to take a while to get there. Okay. So if you don't, if you still don't understand how this is working, like I will have a 4.54% chance to top deck a forge. And he doesn't have a turn to play, so that's really good for us. I like my, I want to keep that elder, so I'm going to get rid of the spark now because um, spark would have been good if he had a turn to smuggler, but he didn't. So I'll get rid of that now. Oh shoot, what did I just draw? I drew a forge. Yeah, I just drew a forge. So let's check that off. Hey, right, I, I was just talking about it was a four point something chance to draw a forge. I drew a forge. That's funny. I think I just drew a forge. All right, uh, skull shrine. Um, ah, oh, we're here. We get the double music bug going. If I click out of it and click back into it, I oh, know the double music still playing. That's annoying. Um, uh, what do I want to get rid of? Let's get rid of the smuggler. Two smugglers might be a little much. So now let's take the other spot. I think I'm going to do this bef before the turn. So one more smuggler in the deck. So you you uh, check them off on the website as you draw them, not as you play them or anything. All right, so goodbye smuggler. And what are we going to see? A giant. That's going to be enough to actually take this down. All right, so let's speak. There are no more s smugglers in the deck. Um... This guy's gonna be able to just take down this forge. And there's gonna be nothing I can do about it. Let's let's play a smuggler though. Down here. Unfortunately I didn't have like a four drop to play. You know what this music's really bothering me. What if I turn it back on? Is it gonna be fixed? Nah, I'm just gonna play with no music this match. Okay, so he's wisely gonna take down the forge. And at least now I can play the elder away. Oh, did I did I check off the elder that I drew? Elder and machinated. Machinated. So I have two machinates left, we'll see elder, elder. Okay, I didn't check off the elder. So now let's get rid of the, the machinated I just drew and play the elder. Stay away from this giant. Okay, so that uh, Skull Shrine really helped him there because he was able to have enough energy to pump that thing. But I have a bounce dispersal for it this coming turn. Which will be my bounce dispersal, bounce dispersal. My la. No, I have one more bounce dispersal in the deck. Ah, it got so quiet without the music. Interesting deck he's playing. You don't see Skull Shrine too often. I do have a Stone Enigma in the deck. That'd be really good if I drew that. Is he just gonna hit an idol? Looks like it, okay. Fine then, so I don't really need to bounce Spursal if I have nothing in harm's way of that thing. But if I don't have another better play, I'll probably just do it. Yeah, let's just bounce Spursal it. I'm gonna draw a scroll from the Dustman Rancher, so I'm not, uh, I'm from the, from the Smuggler. So I'm not gonna have the top, top deck next turn. And let's check off the the dust runner. Um, dust runner. Okay, so I have one more dust runner to draw, and VDU, and move towards the middle. And I draw a structure scroll, and I draw an Oculus cannon. So let's check that off. Okay, you see, like, um, the like a scroll that's like I, I still I have an eight percent chance to draw a burn now because I have three burns left and I'm only have thirty seven cards left. Power tripping doesn't draw him a scroll. 
So if he just fell in with the board now, yeah, he's just going to put some units on the board. Okay. I'll get rid of the Machinade because I don't really have a Storm Runner or a Cannon on the board, so it's not really that important. And... Um... Hmm. I'm a little hesitant if I want to go straight to the middle of the board here. Let's do that. And put a pump in front. Okay, I'm a little connected for like Thunder Surge, but I think it'll be okay. Hopefully I can draw that last Fount Dispersal. There's a burn. Oh no, did I not check off that I drew a... I, I drew a Gun Arms on and a pump last turn, right? Yeah, I think that's what happened. Gun auto, drew it, and f and ether pump, drew that, and a potion resistance, drew that. It's really hard to remember. Ah, uh, it's annoying. He had a burn. Let's see if I can draw a burn. What do I have? What's the chance I draw a burn now? Almost nine percent. Okay. Honestly, potion resistance might be really important. Let's keep that over the Oculus Cannon. But now I get an overdrive. <laughs> okay. Let's, oh, I can overdrive here and let it start going ham. Nah, that's not worth it. Let's potion of resistance this and play a cannonetta right here. In case he wants to move down, then I have the gun on it to move right there. Oh, wait, did I? I don't think I... What did I just sacrifice for scrolls? Oh god, this is so confusing. I keep forgetting what I'm sacrificing. The overdrive I drew. And then... I've played the push since... What was the other thing I... I I'm trying to think. And the Canetta. And the Canetta. Okay. So let's see. Come on. I imagine it just to take down the idol. That's an interesting play. Um, overdrive. I, oh, I drew, keep forgetting. Check it off. All right, that's the last dust runner in the deck. And I'm going to let it go. VD, that was a good draw. I can get rid of that guy and deal some damage to the center idol. Oh, I drew a spark and a VD that time. I almost forgot there. Spark and a Valent Dispersal. So that's my last Valent Dispersal. Good to know against a Gravelock deck because I actually, he hasn't played any Elders yet and I already have lost all my Valent Dispersal. That's not good. Not good at all. <sighs> let's get, um, come on, let's get some burns. What's the chance to draw a burn now? The chance to get a burn is... Uh, 10% wow okay, so we drew machinated so let's do that machinated might be good he got another one of these guys that's a little annoying let's sacrifice the machinated now I almost wish I still had the machinated I think you're still going to have potion resistance right because, yeah, you're going to still have potion resistance for this coming turn. Okay, so I'll continue to go, like, I'll just put a couple Storm Runners on the board. So you guys are both going to be able to attack. But you still, yeah, you still have the potion resistance. So we'll see. He's probably going to use the pillage effect of this. I don't know. Man, the, it feels so quiet. Well, the music, the music fixes itself. Sounds like it. Okay, power trip. Found this burst. Did I, even, did I even draw him a card? I don't think so. Oh, what did I draw? I drew two, sto two storm runners and a spark last turn, right? Two storm runners and a spark. Spark, so no more sparks. And then storm runner. Storm runner. 
Okay, did I... Wait, no, what did I sacrifice, though? Uh-oh, he had a tick bomb. That is not good. At least I hit that guy. Okay, gun auto. We are going to check off. Gun. Okay. And... Let's get rid of the overdrive. Ugh. Not the best draws here, because if I spark you, then you're going to be able to attack. I might have a Fury, though. I need might have an Iron Whip. You're probably going to attack anyways. Uh, I wish I had the Stone Nigma before. Oh, the, the double music's back. Darn it. Yeah, let's spark it. I don't want to run away. Oh god, wait, what? Uh, oh, gun automaton and overdrive. I keep forgetting. I, I'm probably missing scrolls left and right. He's 23 here, 22 here. Actually, I think that. I think that. I think I got them. Alright, so he's taking out the idol. If he has like a fury copper automaton, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> okay, these guys can't reach that guy. Great luck guard. Okay. We have to really fill up that row now. Uh, bombard. I'm gonna need. I almost want to keep Stone Enigma. I'm gonna get rid of the Overdrive. Elder. I mean, that's fine, I guess. He can win with certain draws. Now instead, I'll Thunder Surge a little bit. So now, Bombard next turn might be able to do a lot of damage. I would like to draw. Oh, I drew, I drew two Bombards and an Elder. So that's all my Bombards. And Elder, Elder, Elder. Okay. Yeah, I think it makes sense for this to be one lower than it shows there. Unless I missed something in the beginning. Man, so I have three burns left. So there is a 15, 16% chance I'm going to draw a burn. I need a burn. Uh-oh, that's not good. I can't, that is, that's what I didn't need to see. Uh oh. What about the machinated? How many machinated do I have left? One machinated. Oh, I need a, I need the machinated this turn. Because burn isn't enough anymore. What about Oculus Cannons? Oculus Cannon would, would be good. Okay, I need o Oculus Cannon. There is a. 10% chance. Alright, that's good. Do I have two Oculus Cannons? Snargle Brain? Oh boy. Uh, so let's just cross out the forge before I forget. Cross it out. And a bombard would be good if I can draw. I'm going to get rid of the stone nigga. If I can draw an Oculus Cannon. Alright, nope, but I get rid of burn. So gun auto burn. Wait, no, there's another gun auto? I thought I already had lost all three. I messed up somewhere. Maybe that's what I did in the beginning. I messed it up. Now, now it should be even. And then burn. Okay. So let's see. I can't actually burn right now. I could bombard. And it would destroy you, actually. But then I'm leaving you there. You know what? Let's just hold up here. And I don't want you to attack. If I don't have to let you attack. So let's just go like that. And let's play right into a Thunder Surge. <laughs> okay, so we took out Middle Idol. We have two Storm Runners going off. Hopefully he has no way of like winning. That freak. Oh, no more Vile Dispersals. This is a, a big fat zero here. Zero percent chance because zero scrolls left. 
I think this is a cool idea by Fern Hunter. I'm not sure if like I'm gonna be able to like actually use this effectively because I like, if I don't focus I'm just gonna forget. <laughs> Elder, uh oh. Welp. Let's draw that last machinated. Oh no. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I he is machination mindset. That's that's not good. We have to um let's see a double burn. Would leave you down to three. But I can't double burn, I can only do one burn. Oh boy. That'd give you six. Bombard. Well, let's get rid of one burn. Oculus Cannon. I don't think that's going to be enough. Let's see. Let's see how this is going to work. I think I lose. Let's jam as much health as I can into this row though. Because I think I lose. But I guess we're gonna try to survive here. Um, I have to, I could get a little extra damage on that, but I can't afford to leave this idle open more. Well, oh no, he just wins. Six. Yeah, he just wins. Oh no. I should have moved you here so I can destroy the other elder. Yeah, he just wins. If he has like a snugger brain, definitely, yeah. Six. Yeah, it's, he wins. Yeah, he would have won anyways if I destroyed that. Wow. I was not expect expecting all that to happen. And I kind of got trailed off at the end there. I didn't, I don't think I did the things. So that's a loss. And wow, that's a lot of rating. Um, so that is that. And so make sure you check the description for Franconi's tool here to show your scroll amounts and stuff. You guys might not think it's a great idea, but I think it's pretty cool. So that'll be it for today. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.